It's the Copa del Rey. It's Villarreal. It's the second leg, I think. We won the first leg. Hope you're all doing well. This is PES 5. This is the Master League save with the mighty Valencia. Look at the Mastaya. I'm always moaning that it's empty or half empty. It is packed to the rafters for the visit of Villarreal in this old, real old Spanish competition now, cup competition. Um, but yeah, this is going to be interesting because like I say, I think I did win the first leg. This match, this fixture is usually pretty feisty or it has been for me in this save. I think this is the third time that I'm facing these now, maybe fourth. I don't know, but yeah, like I say, it's very stop-start usually. Um, so I've rung the changes, guys. I got some good players back in. Clivert's on a good form arrow, so, well, you just saw I've started him. This is a good Villarreal team. Senna, what a DMF. I loved him. But yeah, let's see what we can do in this, because... If I just rely on my one... I think it's a 1-0 aggregate lead. I sh really should have checked before hitting record. I'm 99% sure it's a 1-0 lead I've got. Because I scored one goal away at Villarreal. Anyway. We're getting closer now, guys, to the transfer window. It seems like it's taken forever to get there. But we do get there. That's that's the main thing. That's the important thing. Anyway, here is Valencia. Here's Garcia. When I say here is Valencia, I didn't mean my team. There was a player for Villarreal. I think he's a left... Is he a left winger or left midfielder? He's called Valencia. Cliver. I think Cliver had just drifted offside, though. Here's Baraka. Harry, it's good to have some of these players back from injury and the like because yeah I've been getting quite unlucky with injuries in this save so far guys really unlucky actually because they've been my important players like Aymar and Gaspar I think Baraka picked up an injury all the good players basically all of my midfield players oh it's pinballing around here. Clivert does well, though. Who's up with him, though? No one. So I have to go back. Someone did let me know in the replies to one of the previous episodes how to say the vow's name. But you know what I'm like. I'm always getting it wrong. So I'm just going to keep calling him the vow. <laughs> anyway, is that a Valencia throw? It sure is. Is Clivert. Ah, come on. Need to get a goal here so we can just chill. I don't know if away... I always say this, but I don't know if away goals are a thing in the Copa del Rey. I just... I'm not sure. I don't know what the... What Konami... Look at that for a kick. What Konami have done with the cup formula when it comes to this league. That was some height I got on that goal kick then, guys. Some of the players got their gloves on. Regret Regario, I can never say his name either. Uh-oh. That is a free kick to me. Yeah, Regario. Oh, again, I can't say his name. He is wearing gloves, my left back. I might start him over whoever the other left back is I've got from now on. Because he is so pacey. Is Sorin for Villarreal. I remember him. Pina. Oh. Alvarez. I remember all of these players. Was this the Villarreal team that got Champions League football? I don't know. I can't remember. I'm sure I was talking to someone in the replies. Oh. He's offside. Yeah, in the replies to a previous uh, uh, PES 5 episode about that. About Villarreal in the Champions League. Anyway, oh, that's terrible for me. What was that? Uh-oh, Jose Marie's in. Keeper does well. I brought him out, the cup goalkeeper for the day. Oof. 
Calm down, says the ref. Just calm down. Here's Navarro. Navarro's a centre-back. He's got number 11 on the back of his shirt. I'm sure he has. I don't like that. Centre-back should never be number 11. Who remembers when uh, Big Willie Gallas, William Gallas, um, at Arsenal, asked for the uh, number 10 shirt? And Wenger gave it to him. It's like your centre-back, number 10. No, I'm not having it. Because if... A centre-back had asked Fergie, Sir Alex Ferguson, for the number 10. He would have been like, no, number 10's reserved for my striker or for my attacking midfielder. Not a chance, mate. But anyway, yeah. I, I'm quite fickle about that kind of thing. I don't like it. It's just It just looks strange to me. Be like the goalkeeper wearing number 9. It's just like, no. Anyway. <laughs> ah. Speaking of player numbers, blast from the past. I saw someone tweeting about this a few days back. Who remembers? Now, I am going to show my age here. I'm going to change the formation as well whilst we're at it. Anyway, um, can, I, can, I, can I do this? Can I sort the formation and tell you guys about a memory, a Serie A memory? Because I want to try this 3-4-3. Someone asked me to try it in the in the reply. Keep talking about the replies in this episode, but someone did. They said switch to a back three, but with three up front as well. And I also used this formation in ESPN Game Night. If anyone's been watching that series, I lost the final on penalties. Go check it out. I loved three four three in that. So I'm going to give it a go. There might be a quick edit though. This could take a while actually thinking about it yeah there'll be a quick edit and then i'll tell you about my Serie A memory so i'm back um i'm an idiot as well navarro uh oh is number 17 not 11 it looked like 11 from a distance anyway yeah my Serie A memory who remembers because we were talking about or i was talking about player numbers on the back of shirts subs might come on here here they come or one sub because i've gone to the 343 let's try this see how i do in it what was I saying? I don't know. Yeah, even Zamorano for Inter had the one plus eight on the back of his shirt because he couldn't get the number nine, so he had that instead. He literally had a little plus, or, you know, the little calculator sign between the two numbers. I always thought that was so bizarre. It's jerking around a bit for me now, guys, this game. PCSX2 for you, that. There's not a lot I can do, I'm afraid. It will settle. Um, yeah, there was a few players who, who did that as well. I don't think it was allowed, though, in the Premier League or in England in general. Oh, what a finish! Is that the left-back? Regueri or whatever his name is. It is! What a finish. And there's the goal that I wanted. I think that's the first volley I've scored in this series. It's the first volley I've scored in pairs for for a long time, actually. Look at that. I thought, I've got to hit it. I've got to hit it. In the back of my mind, because obviously you've got a millisecond to think, I was like, that's just going to blaze over. We're going to have a way moment. But no, and it's 1-0. Anyway, we can, we can, I was going to say chill, not chill, but we can adjust to this new system that I'm using now. Because 343 is a system I think will work, especially because I'm using like a 343 diamond so I can get Pablo Aymar in the side more, who plays behind the three then the left winger right winger and David Villa or Cliver as the center forward although Cliver will be going on the transfer list someone did suggest that to me so yeah because I need to raise funds I want to build a youthful here's Cliver yeah I want to build a youthful like promising team I don't think that's the right phrasing for what I mean but you you guys know what I mean it's half time. It's a good half from Valencia. That change of shape just through the CPU, I think. That does happen in the old Pez games, I've noticed. If you change your shape halfway through a match, like 
it it kind of yeah it's like the cpu gets confused and i like that because in real football obviously that would happen so i'm gonna save this formation to my stock data because i like it let's create a new one so we've got the 433 now the 343 and the 442 diamond so the three systems we can switch between now anyway Yes, it was jerking around again for me there. It stopped now when I kicked off. It, it, I've tried everything, guys, with PCSX2 to get these games running smooth. Um, it doesn't happen all the time. Sometimes it's as smooth as butter, but it's, it is what it is, I guess. I, I've tried different renderers and stuff. It, it's generally when I'm capturing at the same time. If I'm not capturing footage, the jerking stops. But it's not, it's not because my PC isn't powerful enough or anything, because it, it's fine. My G, I'm looking at my GPU now, it's hovering around 30% on Task Manager. So it's not that, because I play and capture intensive games like F1 23, etc. And they're absolutely fine when you watch the footage back, they look great. So it's just a thing with these old footy games and PCSX2, etc. But anyway, it, it looks all right when I watch it back. And as long as you guys are having fun, that's the main thing. Is uh, Bruno Senna, what a player. I think I've already said that about Senna, but he was. He was fantastic. This Villarreal team had a couple of players. I always wanted Man United to sign. I thought they would have been decent for us. Reguero. That's Reguero, isn't it? Not Reguero. Oh, I don't know. Baraka. Oh, good strength from um, whoever that was for Villarreal. Then his four lan. They've changed tactics here. They're, they're pushing up. They need to. They're going out of the Copa del Rey. Valencia are going to knock out the, their um, sworn enemy because these two are rivals. If you didn't know, guys, you'll all you'll all know. I'm sure they are. It's Derby Day basically when these two meet. Um. Oh, that was a cheeky chip, but it was uh, not enough on it. Oh, go on. The vow. Right, ref, just blow now. We've all had enough of this match. And the referee does blow. Valencia have done it. They are through to the next round. I don't know if it's a quarterfinal. I think it might be. And like I say, let's get a trophy in the cabinet. Right, calendar. So we've got Deportivo. It's a nice draw. Is the quarterfinals next? Deportivo over two legs. That draw has been kind to us, guys. Very kind indeed. We've avoided Barca and Real Madrid there. Um, so what I'm going to do here is put my stock data on. Make the 3-4-3 three, three as the default formation for a while because I want to get used to it. I think it's got a lot of potential for me for getting more goals. So it's back to La Liga. Let's play this very important fixture. I need to start creeping up that league again, guys. So as you can see, I've done the 3-3-1-3 three, three, three formation. I've just spent the last 24 hours doing <laughs> I do like to tinker with tactics and stuff and shape and... I, I, you know, that's what it's all about. I'm sure all of you guys did the same. I have some very detailed replies from some of you in regards to tactics and formations and that kind of thing. Um, and I was the same back in the day with these games. Even though you can't really go that deep into tactics with Pez 5, I mean, there, there's stuff there under the hood. Stuff to enjoy. I thought it was snowing then. It's not. It's uh, confetti from... A half empty, and that's being kind, whatever ground this is. It's not Boca Juniors ground, is it? I don't know. Anyway, here comes Sevilla. They've got no sponsor on their shirt in this game. Did they at the time? I don't know. Sometimes teams don't have sponsors, of course. Oh, they got one on their shorts, though. That's a sin. That's a cardinal sin in footy. I hate it. Anyway. <laughs> Let's win this match. Villarreal, sorry, Valencia, not Villarreal, are in the chain strip. As you can see, the blue strip. Love this strip. 
We give away an early foul there. So, three points from Mus, but Sevilla won't be... Oh, my days, he hits the bar. He hits the Potter's bar. Aranda, watch this. The swerve on that as well. Yeah, we need to win. We need to win, but Sevilla. Around this time, were they... Oh, what's that? We're getting each other's way. Were they any good? I can't remember when it comes to Sevilla. They are the kings of... Europa League. They love the Europa League. They win it every year. <laughs> it feels like that. Gaspar! That is a wonderful, wonderful bit of teamwork. Team play. The way Gaspar just left foots that in looked incredible. That's Pez shine in there. What a goal. Here's Roguerio, who I have now switched to the... Oh, I made him a permanent fixture at left wing rather than left back. Because he can play there as well. And like I said earlier, he's rapid. Here he is. It's a penalty. It's a penalty. Ruggiero. Has the ref just... Did he hold up a yellow and a red card in one hand? I'm sure he did. But he sent off the severe player. Right, let's put this away. Oh, he sneaks it in. Davavia, such a good penalty taker. It's 2-0. Valencia are flying now. I love um, Davavia's Puma King boots. Are they Puma Kings? I used to love those boots. Look at that. Goes under the goalkeeper. Usually go bottom right, but I thought I'd switch it up. I'm going bottom right way too much with my panels. Oh, what's that? Gaspar, I was singing his praises earlier. That's easy for... Canizares, who was in bed last night by half past 11, apparently. So, if you've missed any of the previous episode, Canizares tires by the 23rd minute every match. And he's a goalkeeper. And it's because he's been out on the town enjoying the nightlife. So, uh, I I disciplined him and I, I basically didn't play him. Oh, no, 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 no. No, defend, 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 nothing silly, just stand him up. That's brilliant in the end. That's brilliant defending in the end. Mister. And it's a throw for Valencia, yeah, we're, we're playing well in this uh, formation. Mister. Oh, he tries a little cheeky through ball. It's Davavia. Oh, Baraka. Baraka, still Baraka. Oh, he hits the post. Brecker again. Severe all over the place. They're just panic stations. P absolute panic stations. From, like I say, the severe defence. They just... They want half time now. There's Ramos. Hey, I give away a foul. Is that... That's not... It's not Sergio Ramos, is it? Might be, you know. Was he there? Was he at Sevilla before Real Madrid? I didn't know that. Might be a different Ramos. There's loads of different Ramoses in the world. In the world of football. So Renato, I think, has come on for Sevilla. Let's see if they've changed their formation. And let's see what they've got up their sleeve. Oh, ref. Oh, my. It, that's Gaspar as well. Has he injured him? He's only just come back from injury. I can't believe this. He's so important. When him and Baraka aren't playing in midfield, I really notice it. Because yeah, he still does a little skill, even though he's injured. Even, not even, is the vow. Yeah, I really I miss the creativity in midfield when Gaspar and, like I say, Baraka are missing. Coming up to 70, well, coming up to 75 minutes now. And Sevilla need a goal. They need one soon. I don't know whether to stick or twist. I'm just going to keep playing and just keep attacking. Uh, we've been brilliant in midfield. Really, really dominant. Really aggressive as well where needed. Oh, come on now, Gaspar. I know you're injured and you don't want to be playing, but it's just tough luck. Sevilla, keep the ball in, even though the referee did play on. Eh, 
Yay! I've cursed them again! So Vio keep the ball in, and then he just runs it out for throw in with no pressure on him whatsoever. Stoppage time. Three points are Valencia's. Surely now. Surely they are. Vicente. Cliver. Is he offside? <laughs> I thought I'll go for it anyway. You never know. Play to the whistle. That's what my PE teacher always used to tell me. Oh, come on, ref. Just blow. Canazares needs to get out on the town. Here we go. It is full time. Who ate all the pies? Question mark. Sevilla nil. Valencia 2. How long is he out for? Oh, come on. I don't get any luck with these damn injuries. Right. Let's have a look. We have moved up to fifth. So that'll do. Real Madrid, Barcelona lead the way. Barcelona are catchable. Is that a word? Catchable? I don't know. It's very late now as I'm recording this. The Coke Zero is wearing off. <laughs> it's Malaga next, guys. And then it is the cup against Deportivo. And then it is Luck, the handshakes. Handshakes all around for us in a few days. So uh, keep an eye out for that episode, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this. I'll speak to you all soon.